Yo, you guys, what is going on? It's Blazing Dairy here. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you my entire Supreme collection. That is every accessory, every piece of clothing, everything that is Supreme that I own will be shown in this video. I'm just going to be showing you the best of the best of Supreme. In my opinion, I've got a lot of coveted items that a lot of people definitely won't be able to get their hands on very easily. And then again, I also have a lot of general items that you guys would still be interested in seeing. So either way, this is going to be a win-win video for everybody because I get to show off my collection and you guys get to enjoy me watching it. Before I continue any further, I did want to mention that I am doing an Air Jordan 1 Royal giveaway. So all you have to do is click the link down below in the description to subscribe to my channel and you can pick whatever size you want if you win. You can also follow my Instagram and Snapchat at Giancarlo Perch both on the bottom left hand corner of the screen for more entries. Besides that man, let's just clean up the space a little bit and go through every item one by one. clean up the space a little bit and go through every item one by one. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving you guys like a little info about the item, each one that I show you. Just like a very quick like 5 to 10 second synopsis about the year maybe or price or what I got it for, something like that. So the first item I wanted to show you is up top. This is my Supreme Wrap that I did buy for only $200. Resale is between three to 500 so I'm very glad I have this just kind of chilling in the back of all my videos. And the next thing is my Supreme Blanket right here, which I bought for $170. And the thing about these is they're so like replicated then like made fake and everything like that you have to make sure you buy it from a very trusted seller so what I did was I found a buyer who had the original confirmation email of when he bought it like four years ago or something like that so that's really dope too the next thing that I wanted to show you guys was my sticker table. So I basically got a lot of rare box logos and stuff on my table. So like for example, I've got like the CDG one, the felt, the glitter set, the world one, the Medusa, Pink Panther, a couple like uh, smaller stickers. It's like a bunch of stickers. I'm planning on adding more to my sticker collection. And what I did was I actually got a custom piece of glass made to go on top so these don't really move around, which is great. Before I really dive into the items, I did want to address something very important to me, that if you think that I shouldn't own any of this because I don't skate on the regular, then you need to reconsider what you're commenting about on this video because this video is all about my love for Supreme, what I love to collect. I, I enjoy spending my money on Supreme because it's like a hobby. It's what I do, it's what I collect. A lot of people have their own hobbies. Some people collect cars, stamps, coins, whatever that may be. That's, this is what I love to collect. And another thing is, well, everybody's gonna be all of a sudden dissing out on Rich all of a sudden. And uh, here's a quick clip from my mom herself about my money habits. Did you buy me these? 100% not. Absolutely. I have purchased none of that for you. I am very proud to say that when Giancarlo started his channel, he had a goal, and that goal was to buy himself his Nike Air Max, and he absolutely 100% did it on his own. The couch we're sitting on, I bought myself. Absolutely. The furniture you see, I bought myself. Like the All the Supreme behind us, you bought yourself. Like. So as you guys can see, this is not funded by my parents. I literally work day and night on my YouTube, on my merchandise, doing brand deals and stuff like that to afford what I have. I'm extremely grateful for it. And without further ado, let's just jump right into this collection. So let's start with a mix and match of accessory to clothing and just that kind of stuff. First one, and probably the most notorious item for Supreme for decorating purposes, is my Supreme Beach Ball. I got this when it was DS in the plastic, and I only paid like maybe 25, 30 bucks, which is not a bad price. Another notorious Supreme item right now is this money gun. You can basically, like, it, the money gun itself is just so much fun. Such a great waste of money if you guys are looking to just shoot out bills. Maybe you're going to the, you're going to the club one night, you and your girl are over, you're just you know, having some fun with some bills. 
I recommend. Moving on, I'm gonna show you my first box logo that I have right here. So this is my Yankees box logo. It's a navy on navy box logo, and on the back it's got a Yankees logo. And this is probably one of my favorite box logos because it is one of the easiest to match with. And along with the box logo that I'm wearing, this is my purple on black box logo from like 2005. This thing goes for some crazy money, and I'm super blessed that I've got it for only 525 bucks. What the? F you spent $525 on a t-shirt. Yes, I did. That's what I love to collect, son. Moving on, I have right here the very recent, actually, Supreme Puzzle. So my girlfriend and I probably are actually going to do a live stream building this. And uh, you guys can come on the stream, make some comments, whatever you guys want. I love this item, and I can't wait to build it. It's probably going to take a couple hours. Next up, I've got 20... No, I've got 16 pairs of Supreme underwear. So I've two packs of black and two packs of white. So I just wanted to throw that out there. I always wear my Supreme underwear. Up next is just a, uh, I think it was a free tote bag they gave you, or maybe you bought it, I'm not sure, but it's like a, it's like a plastic tote bag with the Supreme box logo. Right here, I have a Supreme Clean Canteen, and I've only used this a couple times. Coming up right here, I just have a very basic black zip-up jacket with Supreme in kind of this like cool graffiti looking font on the hood right here. So there's really not much to say about this. Right here, this is when I went to uh, New York City and I bought the incense matches because I still had them in the store. They all kind of smell like ass, so I don't recommend getting them. <laughs> right here is a Supreme Gons Butterfly t-shirt. Nothing really to say about this one either. I haven't worn it. My girlfriend likes it though. Right here is my Yankees uh, skateboard deck. I have the completed skateboard deck and I actually have basically every item from the Yankees stuff except the jersey and the hat. So I'm glad to have these two pieces. I just kind of have them up against the wall. Right here, another notorious Supreme item is the brick. You know it'd be sick? If you had a brick and you made an entire Supreme brick house out of Supreme bricks, that'd be like a $7 million house. Right here, I have a Supreme pill case. And this does go for every seven days of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's very cool. Each one individually opens. So you can use this if you do take regular medicine. Not bad. This is just one of those like things that like I don't really care about showing. It's just a thermal crew neck. This is a green Supreme t-shirt. It's more of a nature vibe right there. See, it looks like kind of the globe. Same thing on the back right here, but it's actually just an ocean with some leaves. Very nice, subtle green tea. It's my only green tea I actually own. This is a Supreme Anarchy t-shirt. Uh, it just says Anarchy backwards. Once again, nothing really to say. It's kind of a boring shirt. Right here, I'm just kind of banging out some of the t-shirts. I have a long sleeve grid uh, t-shirt. This was like 54 bucks, but I did wear this quite a bit throughout the winter. Right here, this is my school backpack. So I emptied it out because it's, it's summer now, but I use this. I've been using this since halfway through sophomore year and I love this backpack a lot. It definitely uh, carries a lot of my stuff very nicely. This is another Supreme backpack that I have. I got this one uh, a while ago. I don't use it, but uh, it's just nice to have as another display piece. Right here are the only pair of Supreme shoes that I have. These are the Air Force One white high tops. These are my favorite shoes ever to wear with jeans. So you guys probably catch me a lot wearing these. Definitely gonna get worn a lot when I go back to New York City for college. I wore these in New York City. I always wore Air Force Ones when I lived in New York too. If you guys didn't know that, I am from uh, like the Bronx area, so like Yonkers-ish. That's, that's where I grew up. I'm gonna show you guys another box logo. So this is one of the first box logos I ever got, this is probably the second one I've ever got. This is a Melodkin box logo. Uh, it's from, I think it's from 2004, maybe, or 2003. It's from 2003. Uh, very nice t-shirt, very easy to match with once again. Right here is my Yankees box logo. So as you guys can see, I already have the navy one. Now I have the navy on white one with, once again, the box logo part, the Yankees part in the back. Very clean t-shirt. I like it a lot. Some more accessories. You have right here, it's either a phone case that you can put on your belt, or it's just a pouch that you can also attach on your belt. Right here, I have a used set of Supreme toothpicks, and right here, I have a DS set of Supreme toothpicks. These are very cool also. This is kind of my favorite tray right here that I have all my Supreme stuff on. So right here, I have a Supreme butterfly knife. This is very cool. I have a Supreme Swiss Army knife with all the attachments like the toothpick, the different knives, the saw, stuff like that. I have two key knives. I got both for retail, one at the store, one from a friend. And then I have a dead stock gold engraved Zippo. This actually sells for quite a bit of money. And then I also have the iridescent one, which I did fill with 
lighter fluid. And lastly, Supreme tray right here. And whoever I bought this from was very smart. They put stuff right here so they can set it nicely on a table. Some more shirts right here. This is a photo tee of, well, I don't know this dude's name to be honest, but it says boys from the county hell on the back. Kind of looks like if you have some bad diarrhea, this is what kind of the shirt color looks like. So I probably won't be wearing this too much if at all. I have a Damien Hurst box logo t-shirt and uh, it's very subtle. It's all it has are just a couple multicolored dots in the center and then in white it spells out Supreme. On the back it says life's a bitch and then you die. Right here, this is another very recent Supreme t-shirt. This is the Vampirilla collab. Uh, just a just t-shirt. A I haven't worn it yet, probably won't wear it. This is my all-time favorite Supreme box logo ever. This is my Supreme CDG polka dot gray box logo. As you guys know, the more Supreme releases CDG collabs they have, the better that this one, the price goes up. Be careful, guys. Please, this is one of the most, if not the most replicated Supreme box logo ever. So you have to make sure you're getting it from a very trusted source and somebody who knows how to legit check. Please don't come to me for your legit checks. I'm, I'm not gonna do it for you. I'm not taking a risk. Right here, I have the very heavy Lucite box. It's just something to hold your items in. I just kind of display it like that. Right here is my new era Supreme headband. One of also a like also a very replicated item along with that headband that kind of goes like that I had a fake one. I had no idea the way you look is on the P right here Like on the P I'll show you guys what it looks like on the screen. It's a fleece headband There's gonna be a line in the P. That's how you know it's fake So I'll, I'll make sure I point that out for you guys right here is something that my mom actually ended up getting for Christmas for me in 2014 I believe it was or 2015 it was 2015. It's just a script uh, Supreme tea gray very basic kind of essential hoodie I like it a lot. Thank you mom right here something I got very recently I got this at sneaker con Chicago and it's just a reflective champion logo on a champion sweatshirt with Supreme right here is another set of part of my Yankee set this is the uh, Navy Yankees hoodie. So right here, I have a Supreme calculator. Luckily, I didn't buy this for retail for like 54 bucks or whatever it was. I got this in a package deal. So I'm glad I didn't pay too much on it. And if you guys are wondering, I do have a lot of the boxes and like original plastics that these came in. They're all just stored away in my closet. So it's kind of a pain to get out. Right here, I have the Supreme New Testament Bible stash book. So this is a very expensive item and a very rare item to say the least. It's, it's very clean. It looks like a book from the side, obviously, from the top, bottom, da, da, da. You never know it's a stash book unless you study your supreme knowledge. Uh, I'm not sure what this is called. Maybe this is called the Pelican case, I believe. Basically, it's a waterproof case, so if like you go on the lake or something, it will also float, I believe, and then it will keep your items protected. Right here are my supreme bolt cutters. So... All they say is Supreme and then help yourself. So I made a video about these very recently. These are the Supreme Duralex cups. I did realize though that if you fill a drink with it, the box logo right here that's translucent will turn to the color of the drink. Once again, I still think they should have made it red, but these are very cool cups. This is kind of expensive. So this is cool right here is the small storage box, but on the inside, I actually have a lot of stuff in here. So we're gonna look at each one individually. The first thing is is a mirror keychain that says Fuck next week and then on the back it's literally just a little mirror so it's actually probably a nice little keychain to have. This right here is a glass breaker pen so it's a glass breaker right here and then if you unscrew it it's also a pen so you can screw it back on the top right here. Very cool design but I wouldn't suggest putting it on your keychain because I've seen a lot of the times that the Supreme will rub off. This is the Grand Prix keychain in gold. Just another cool little keychain i have i'm not honestly sure what this is i know it's like a rose but i don't know what year it came out but it's just another keychain and then right here i like to call this the telescope pen it's actually called something like that because you can extend it out and use it as a pen and that was it for the items in the small metal storage box i usually just have this kind of open like this showing the items right here is my supreme domino case so it's got dominoes on the inside. I kind of just display it like this. And once again, they're all dominoes. And what's cool about these is they say Supreme on the back of every single domino. So if you're really trying to ultimately flex, you definitely can. This is also one of the more pricier items in my collection, being that you can never really find them, especially in the condition that mine are in. Like all the print is perfect. Right here is one of those Supreme items that you're just like, what is this? 
What is this fan? This is an alarm clock. Right here is a very interesting one. I found a seller on Instagram who was selling DS uh, Supreme joint papers. And uh, these are from like, these are like 11 years old by now. So paper is really fragile. So I, I never really try to mess with these, but they're just cool to have. And then on the inside, it says each one teach one. Right here is a Supreme, uh, just like a water bottle. It's DS, it smells like it, so this is cool. Right here, you've got a Supreme Champion hoodie, something I did get in a combination deal. I traded a Bay hoodie for this and a Bling Box logo, which I might as well show you right now. So I traded that Bay hoodie for this Bling Box logo and that Supreme Champion thing. This is the worst box logo to ever hit the Supreme market. It is also the cheapest, so if you are in the market for a cheap box logo, you can probably get yourself one for like 180 bucks. I wouldn't recommend buying it. It's a really ugly box logo, but gotta have it. Right here is the American flag box logo, another really rare piece I have in my collection. This is my second one. I originally sold the first one I got because I didn't like the condition it was in. This one's in a lot better condition, and I got it for a great price too. Show you guys really quick. This is my Supreme, uh, another Supreme blanket I have that goes over the side of my couch. It's also a Yankees collection, so I'm really not missing much at all. Right here is my Supreme Soup Bowl set. So as you guys can see, it's got the little soup bowl. And then this is a New York City business card. So I just kind of took this off the desk. And then right here are just some sky ball bounces. These are really cool. I have one blue and I also have two red. So these are cool. Kind of looks like cereal on its own. Probably can't eat that actually. Right here is the only thing that I have from the Everlast collab. These are the Supreme Everlast uh, grips. And these are actually really difficult to press. I've had a lot of friends that couldn't actually press it all the way down. I love this item right here. This is the Supreme Switchblade. It's not actually a Switchblade, it's just a comb. But I used to have one of these as a kid. And uh, I remember I one time I got in trouble with it for bringing it to school. The teacher thought it was an actual knife, but it was just a comb. This right here, unfortunately, is my crushed up fortune cookie. It's a damn shame this happened. I wanna cry about it. I wasn't gonna eat it, <laughs> but I like having it. I wish it was, you know, fortuned. You know, like in the in the fortune. Right here is a Supreme Metro card. I actually have three of these. I gave one of them to my friend, and then I just have this one in my wallet. This is the tag that actually came on that Supreme hoodie over there. So if you ever bought something from the store, normally we'll have this tag on it right here. Right here, just some Supreme post-it notes, two packs of white. I actually wrote on these. This is just my Instagram and YouTube. Right here is a mag light, and I have the box for this. The box is really cool. It's a super bright light. So if you if you get hit with this, man, you're, oh geez, you're done for. This right here is, is a Supreme Pill Carabiner, so it can be used as just like a very nice ornamental little thing. But then right here, put this right in here. Also one of my prized possessions in the Supreme Collection, I have the water gun set. So I'm basically all decked out with the beach stuff. I've got the towel, the raft, the water guns, the beach ball, wherever the hell that is. I really love these. These alone go for like 150 to 200 each so the sets probably like 300 together once again crazy for two dollar water guns but you know it's supreme <laughs> my supreme hourglass i really like this it's a nice display piece once again when you can't really do anything with it i don't know how many minutes it is though till it falls i think it's just one minute right here i have all three colors of the supreme pens so it's got red black and blue Right here is my Supreme Mophi that sucks. Do not buy the first one. This thing does not charge my damn iPhone whatsoever. I will say though, it does have a nice sleek design. So basically, you put that close out right there, pop the lock back on it, and then it's a keychain. Useless. It's useless. Right here, I have a Pina Colada Pink Panther air freshener. It smells like Pina Colada, but I'm going to keep it in the plastic. Right here is another Supreme tray I have along with uh, my keychain. So I do have the OG Supreme lanyard, and uh, this was on the lanyard, it's a bottle opener. But I took it off, and my car is actually in the shop, getting some stuff done to it for, you know, just like really fun things. So I don't actually have that half with me. And then I have a shit out of luck fortune. So all this says is just shit out of luck, and then Supreme on the back. And then just another tray right here. This is cool too. Right here I have a Supreme tanker jacket. So this says Supreme USA on the back of it, and it's quilted too, so it's got that nice fur. I wear this a lot in winter. I've already worn it uh, last winter. Definitely a great piece to have. It's really awesome for layering hoodies and stuff like that. This was like 350 for retail though, kind of expensive. The last items 
my Supreme Gore Flex is what I like to call it. The Gore Flex uh, North Face suit. So I have the pants and then I also have the jacket right here. Very comfortable, definitely for winter. Definitely looks like you're going skiing 99.9% .9 of the time you wear it. <laughs> And that's all I have for you guys in this video. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way through, please make sure you comment down below. Blazing Dairy is a hype beast. So I know that you guys made it all the way to the end. And please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I'm trying to shoot for 10K likes. 10K likes is a lot, but I know we can do this together, you guys. And don't forget about the Air Jordan 1 Royal Giveaway. Make sure you guys subscribe if you aren't already. I do post a lot of videos about streetwear that I definitely think if you're well, if you clicked on this video, then you definitely want to click on the other ones. So that's all I got to say about that. Thank you for watching. Have a great night day. Whenever you're watching, it's Blazonary. I'm out. Peace.